So Construction Scotland, what is it about uh, and uh, what are we all about ultimately at the end of the day? Uh, we're a group of individuals that come together representing many sectors uh, across construction, uh, but our ultimate aim and objective uh, is to improve uh, the profitability and the productivity of construction. That's why we come together. Um, and it's a volunteer organisation uh, made up, as I say, of many of the disciplines that make up construction. Um, but we also look for new members uh, and we'll continually seek new participants within the section. You'll hear this morning uh, a little bit about uh, what we're doing uh, and what we're about. In terms of construction, uh, Sally made mention of the video. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, it does demonstrate the impact that construction has on the built environment. Uh, and equally, uh, something that we should all be very proud of, that we make a contribution to everybody's their daily lives. Construction Scotland um, tries to do that in a number of different ways. Um, and, in, and indeed, one of the things that we try to do is to innovate uh, about the processes and the construction methodologies that are used uh, in construction on a daily basis. I don't think it's possible to overestimate the importance of innovation centres in changing how we do things. Innovation centres are a cultural shift that seeks to bring the innovation and the creativity of our academic sector to the very heart of our business life and also one that seeks to put business drive firmly at the heart of our academic sector. Innovation centres are going to be instrumental in placing us in Scotland ahead of our international competitors and reinforcing the reputation that we have, that we rightly have, our reputation built over generations as an innovative nation. In launching uh, the centre to put on record my thanks and congratulations to everybody who has worked very hard and I know many people have worked very hard to bring the Innovation Centre to fruition and I uh, wish Stephen Good uh, all the best in his uh, role as Chief Executive of the centre. But no matter what your perception of innovation is, the reality is that we know in construction that we have to continually move forward. We're living in a, a more competitive world and if we want to stay ahead of the game, we have to be better, we have to move forward, do things differently, and find better ways of doing things. That's crucially important. The only constant in life is change. And at the end of the day, innovation, uh, if I'm to leave you with one thing here today from this, this short presentation, innovation is a living, breathing thing. The reality is, what does innovation mean? Innovation is what turns ideas into invoices. And if you're particularly fortunate in construction, maybe even cash at the end of the day. But innovation is something which basically creates value in our, in our, in our industry, creates investment, creates new jobs. And that is why uh, there has been such an amount of time and effort put into the innovation centre families. That is one of the areas that will drive innovation, is if the construction industry see the commercial value in it. So... Our role, from that point of view, moving this forward, I guess, is to help propel your business forward. We are here to act as the arm's length R&D team. If you've got a problem or a challenge that you need to fix, this sounds a bit like an A-team thing, but if you've got a problem or a challenge that you need to fix and you can't find anybody else, um, we will be the team that are here to help deliver that, I guess. That's the, that's the purpose, that's the mission. And what we want to see, I guess, in some roundabout way, is all your businesses embedding that sort of culture so that regularly, rather than us, the academic teams, the public sector partners, the stakeholders are involved, you know, cajoling and, and encouraging you to be more innovative, adopt more innovative, get involved in this project, get involved in that project. I need my phone to be ringing off the hook. Um, and once I get my email up and running, I need it to be melt in meltdown mode as well. So, um, so our purpose really is to help you guys deliver what you want to achieve. This is industry-led, uh, which is absolutely crucial. This is industry driving forward the innovation that it wants. And I had said this morning that uh, investment, which we have, plus the, the, the confidence, um, the, the aptitude to take it forward will lead to innovation. But we are relying on industry to basically come forward and say, this is something that we should do. And as Stephen mentioned, we're trying to de-risk some of the things. Innovation is quite an expensive business. Um, and it's, you know, if you bear in mind that we have 130,000 people in Scotland, uh, but that's spread over 31,000 businesses. 
130,000 people work in construction in Scotland, but over 31,000 businesses, which I think is quite amazing. Something like 80% of our construction companies in Scotland have less than eight people. So the vast majority of our business in construction it isn't the, the conglomerates like Mr. O'Rourke's, uh, Lane O'Rourke and, and, and Balfour Beatty. Uh, they, are, they are enormous players, etc. But the people who will change the industry are at root level. They are the people who are less than eight people in their company. And if you're trying to run your business, uh, and I've been there, if you're trying to run a business of six, seven, eight people, you can frequently be more concerned with how do I pay the wage bill next week than what's my next process of innovation. And that's the reality of the situation we have to face. What Stephen and I uh, are hoping to do is to take away those barriers for small companies to, to innovate. That if you have a particular idea, it gets flagged up, it goes to a project board, which Stephen will talk about in a second, and basically we try then to put funding into it. So we put funding into things to make this innovation happen. We have um, the opportunity to listen to what industry wants to do as part of the bid process. And you know, Bill mentioned that I've been involved in this process for a while, uh, I, but it wasn't just me. Uh, I, I was passionate about driving the Innovation Centre programme forward, but there were um, hundreds of businesses, frankly, who wanted to engage in the process and want this Innovation Centre to work um, and want to use it ultimately. So we've got in the fortunate position now where, with the good faith and, uh, and judgment, I'm sure, of the, uh, the Funding Council, um, we're here, we're ready to go. Um, we need industry to come forward with the projects so we can pull the, uh, the consultants, the stakeholders, the higher education institute partners, the college partners uh, in time all together and gear that support network around making sure we deliver what you want. So we need to know, um, we need to know what we don't know, we need to know what you guys have got problems with uh, and we need to then um, task the best teams we can um, to solve those problems and take them to a logical conclusion. First point of contact, given that I am the Innovation Centre at the moment, um, officially, uh, from a day job point of view, uh, is me. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, there is a team uh, within all the different stakeholders who are uh, playing a great role in terms of support and infrastructure and all the various things that we clearly need to complete in terms of putting in place, um, but that's ongoing, so that's moving forward uh, at pace. Um, but for now, um, as a you know, first point of contact, and, and you know, fully appreciative that my role moving this forward is to speak to every single one of you that wants to do something that engages with the Innovation Centre. So I'm more than happy to, uh, I've got my, uh, my train ticket duly charged up and ready to travel the country. So uh, I am, yep, yeah, I'm here and ready to, ready to go. The team of business relationship managers, uh, the academic partners and the stakeholder partners, um, commitment I suppose to be part of this uh, initiative um, is to help engage with industry and find out what initiatives industry wants to bring forward. So what projects do we want to see matured? Um, in terms of the process we'll go through, and I mentioned you know, we don't want an overly laborious, bureaucratic um, form-filling process necessarily. Um, as Bill's touched on, this is an industry-led initiative. So what we have conceived as a technical advisory group, which is going to be um, populated, I hope, by many people in this room, um, which will act as the process that allows businesses to, um, to flow to the Innovation Centre operations team and then upwards to the governance board um, for sign off for funding support. We're acutely aware that we don't want that process to be long and laborious. Mm -hmm. So if industry, with the academic partners working in this technical advisory group, which will have a pool of experts from all the various different organisations you can imagine will, um, will have something to contribute uh, to that conversation, can help nurture, mature, develop those projects. And at that point, yes, there'll be a form we need to fill in. Um, but that will then be um, processed from the operations team through to the governance board and the funding cocktail, because I suspect in most instances it will not simply just be funding from the Innovation Centre, although that is one of our roles. We'll act through that process of growing and nurturing that, the project to see just where else there's um, perhaps appropriate support that can get brought in. So that process um, and the task for us is to make sure that um, you know, the academic partners, the industry partners, those involved in delivering it um, can do it in a timescale that meets the needs of industry, which is the key driver really for us, um, that will allow us to, uh, to identify the projects. And you know, I, I w clearly we have funding commitment and there's a ceiling on that, so we don't have a bottomless um, 
pot pit of money, I guess. But what we do have is flexibility and scope within the delivery mechanism of the Innovation Centre to not eliminate at this point, any small projects, big projects. Yes, there are other mechanisms out there, interface and uh, innovation vouchers and a whole host of different mechanisms that can allow some early feasibility stuff to happen. Uh, our job in that respect is to make it easier for industry to access those things. And then on that kind of um, you know, stream of activity that would happen to take an early project from there to you know, on the shelf, if it's a product as an example, it's to make sure that we are um, A, holding the hand of the organisations all the way through that, pointing them in the right direction, but making sure we're still holding their hand, we're not waving them goodbye at the door and, and you know, best of luck we'll see in two years time sort of thing. We will have a relationship with that company right the way through that process and we'll manage that as best, as best we can. I think it's a fantastic turnout today. It shows an appetite within the construction sector to really look at ways which we can embrace innovation that can make uh, real differences to the construction sector, both in terms of performance, efficiencies and deriving uh, greater economic benefit right across the sector. I think it's an exciting challenge that the Innovation Centre have got ahead. I think it looks like they're going to be lining up a really good team and the attendance here is absolutely fantastic. And it's not as though it's junior members of the team, it's the senior decision makers and influencers that are attending. So I think they've also got everyone's attention. I think it'll be really exciting to see what they do next.